Okay, so have you heard about this new tool, Notebook LLM? People are saying it can take your notes and like turn them into a polished podcast. Yeah, it's really got people talking, especially folks interested in new tech and you know, maybe even starting a side hustle. It's like those two worlds are colliding, right? Tech and entrepreneurship. Yeah. Because people are saying this notebook LLM thing can actually help you make some serious cash. That's the rumor, yeah. Yeah. And it plays into that whole desire so many people have these days to become content creators, but faster and easier. Right. Like, who has time to learn all the ins and outs of audio editing and all that? But before we get ahead of ourselves, can you even, like, explain what notebook LLM actually is? For those of us who haven't been following every tech trend. Sure. So imagine this. You're using Google Docs, right? But instead of just typing up your notes... It's actually understanding them. Like it can analyze PDFs, articles, even just random thoughts you've jotted down. Okay, so it's reading your mind. Well, sort of. But how does it go from like a jumbled mess of notes to a finished podcast episode? Well, that's the crazy part. Notebook LLM takes all that information you've given it and uses it to generate actual audio. Yeah. And I'm not talking about some robotic voice reading your notes aloud. The source I saw mentioned they turned a three-hour webinar into a 23-minute podcast. And it even had different, like, speakers. Whoa, hold on. Different speakers? Like, it creates different voices? Apparently. It analyzes the content and figures out how to break it up and make it sound like a conversation between multiple people. That's insane. And think about how much time that would save. Right. The efficiency is mind-blowing. Yeah. But, uh... There's always a but, isn't there? Especially when it comes to AI, right? <laughs> exactly. The big question, especially if you think about using this for your business, is how do you know if it's original? Plagiarism is a huge EE -E deal these days. You don't want to mess around with that. Nope. And while, yeah, the source we're looking at claims that Notebook LLM spits out totally original content, even ran it through Grammarly with good results, you still got to be careful. Always double check. Double check. Got it. So content creation check. But let's get to the good stuff. How do you actually make money with this thing? Right, because isn't that everyone's favorite question? The source had a bunch of ideas about how to monetize this. Like what? Give me the rundown. Well, they mentioned stuff like affiliate marketing, you know, linking to products related to your podcast, or even like charging for subscriptions if you've got some niche expertise. Whoa, subscriptions. I like the sound of that. Passive income. Here I come. Whoa, hold your horses. <laughs> yeah, it's not that easy. Right, right. Always need a reality check. Exactly. Notebook LLM is a tool, not a magic wand. You still need to put in the work, figure out your audience, your niche, you know, actually provide something valuable. Because people can spot a cash grab a mile away. A hundred percent. Authenticity is key. And you know what else I thought was interesting? The source actually used the example of promoting silk pillowcases with Notebook LLM. Silk pillowcases? That's oddly specific. Right. But it made me think it's such a niche product. And that's where the real opportunity might lie with this kind of tech, finding those underserved markets. And there's a whole community out there who are passionate about things like silk pillowcases. Yeah. I never even thought about it. but See, and that's just one example. Yeah. The possibilities are kind of mind-blowing when you start digging into it. It's true. I never thought about a community built around silk pillowcases. But I guess it makes sense, right? Totally. And it just goes to show you never know what kind of rabbit holes will go down in these deep dives. Exactly. But okay, can we go back to the text for a second? Because the way Notebook LLM supposedly turns notes into a real sounding podcast is pretty wild. For sure. I mean, the source glossed over that part kind of quickly, but there's some serious AI magic happening under the hood. Yeah, like how does it actually work? Do we know? Well, from what I understand, it's not just like basic keyword analysis. It's actually understanding the context of your notes, figuring out the main points, even mimicking different speaking styles to make that audio sound natural. So instead of hiring a whole production team, you're basically getting like a mini audio studio in one program. Pretty much. And that's what makes it so powerful and kind of scary at the same time, you know? Oh, yeah, totally. Pandora's yeah. box and all that. Exactly. And that kind of brings up another thought. We've been talking about all the amazing things Notebook LLM can do, but what about the stuff you shouldn't do with it? Oh, that's interesting. Just because we can do something with AI, it doesn't always mean we should. Right, exactly. And I think it's really important to remember, even though this tool can help you create amazing content, it's still just that, a tool. It's not replacing human judgment. It can't make those decisions for you. So even if it helps with like research and putting together a script, 
you still need to make sure it's accurate and engaging. And authentic. That's huge. Right. You can't just let AI run wild and expect to build a loyal audience. People know when something's not genuine. 100%. People connect with other people. And for now, at least, AI can't replicate that human element. Yeah, it's that unique voice, that perspective that people are drawn to. And that's something AI just can't offer. For me, the most interesting part about AI isn't even the tech itself. It's what it could mean for human creativity. What do you mean? Well, if AI takes over the tedious stuff like editing or research, think about how much time that frees up. So we could focus on the bigger picture, like the ideas and, oh, I don't know, connecting with people. Yes, that's where the real magic happens. It's like AI is giving us a chance to, you know, be more human. Right. Less robots, more creativity. A hundred percent. And speaking of, did you catch that part at the end of the source about the apps for people with visual impairment? Oh, yeah. That was a curveball. Wow. Totally unexpected, but kind of cool they included that. Right. Like, it's easy to get caught up in all the money-making hype around a new tech tool, but then they hit you with this reminder that technology can also be used for good. Totally. And those apps sounded amazing. Like that one that reads web pages out loud. Yeah. Game changer. Seriously. Or the one that helps you like navigate around a city using audio cues. So cool. And it makes you realize the same tech behind Notebook LLM could be used to make someone's life way easier. Exactly. It's all about how we use technology. Right. And designing it to be accessible for everyone. And that benefits everyone, really. <laughs> so to wrap things up for our listeners today, we took a deep dive into Notebook LLM, all the good, the bad, and the profitable. We explored a powerful new tool but also some important questions about using it responsibly. We talked about AI, entrepreneurship, accessibility, even silk pillowcases. Because why not? It's all connected, right? Exactly. We hope this sparked some ideas, some curiosity, and maybe even inspired you to, you know, go out there and make something awesome. The future is out there. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next time.